In this scene, we're going to be setting drags. In this case, we're going to be setting it on a Makaira Kuma, one of the high-tech current technology gold reels on the market today. I'm going to be assisted by my lovely wife, Jo, who, enjoy, who loves doing this. A lot of people you would have known her from the business many years ago. And of course, our dog Hamish, who seems to get into the act any time he can. Okay, there's several important things to know about our gold reels and how to basically set them. When you buy them, they are not set. You do have to set them and you have to know the name of a few of the things. This lever here is called the drag lever. The position right down the bottom here is called free spool. Next up, you come to this position, which is called strike. It's in front of this button. This is called the button. And you can press the button down and go all the way to full or what we call sunset. Now, to adjust the drag, you pull the lever all the way down to free spool and you adjust it by turning this preset knob. Okay, and we'll just get started and we'll get the assistance of Joey. Okay, when you do set the drag, we're going to be setting this drag at a third the braking strain of the line. And the reason we do that is because we're using nylon. This reel has got what we call a TDC cam, uh, which is designed to use with IGF line classes. Now, we're using a third because it's the properties of nylon that under a third is just like the stretchy part of a rubber band. There's just no punch in it, there's no stress in it, and it's not until you get to a third the braking strain of the line that you do get pressure on the hook to set the hook and fight the fish. That's why we set the drag at a third the braking strain of the line. To do that, we're going to use a set of scales. Now here we've got a, a set of hand scales. It's got a collar on it, which will, the collar will remain in the highest position when we pull the scales out like that. You can see that the collar remains in the top position. It's very important to understand that when you bu do buy a set of scales, it's unlikely to be accurate. A lot of the good ones like this do have an adjustment so that you can check your scales against a pair of certified scales and adjust them so that the readings are correct. Okay, we'll just go and set this drag now. Now we're going to be setting it at a third. Now just put the, up the strike, please, Joe. Great, wind up. Make sure that your snap swivel is closed when you're going to put the scales in there because you don't want to stretch them open. Now once again, make sure the collar is down and we pull the scales away from the rod. And you can see here I'm doing it nice and slowly and I've got a reading of three and a half kgs. Okay, wind up please, Joe. Pull the collar back. Okay, that was three and a half kgs to four kgs. If we pull it at walking pace, which is that speed, you can see we've gone up to five kgs. Okay, wind up again, please, Joe. Now, a lot of people, when they're pulling the scales, are trying to imitate a marlin or a wahoo, and they pull it incredibly quickly. And you can see here we've done that, and I've gone all the way to 7 kgs. So just by pulling on the scales, we've got a variation of 100%. We've gone from 3.5 to 4 kgs, all the way to 7 kgs, depending on the speed. So really, just wind up again, please, Joe. So really, you can't talk about setting drags and just say, we've set the drag at a third. You really do have to include the speed at which you're pulling the drags at. It could be anything from dramatically slow to that, depending on the stuff, which will give you a different reading. Speed, well, if the guy's a karate or, or a taekwondo expert, he's going to be a whole lot quicker than a guy who's worked in an office he's a whole lot. So the speed, which is correct, is actually walking pace, which is four miles an hour, which pretty much everyone can get right. Okay, please wind up again, John. So walking pace is exactly that. So we'll just walk at walking pace, and now we've got a reading of just under five kg, and we'll just get Joe to wind that up. And we're gonna get her to simply increase the drag by one click on the preset. Drop the reel down to free spill, please, Joe. And just all the way down, and just one click should do it. That's it, and back up to strike. Thank you. Okay, we'll pull the scales again at walking pace. And now we've got six kgs. Okay, we'll back it off again. I think she went two clicks. Okay, wind up please. Generally the ratio is that um, one click is about half a kg to a kg. So when we pull the scales again at walking pace, see what it is. We've now got exactly five kgs. Wind up again, please, Joe. Okay, we've set the one-third, we've set strike. Now, it's really important that 
you know what full is going to be or how far you can push this system. Um, okay, Jabe, just push it, the little black button in and put the lever all the way to full, please. Okay. And we'll just see what this setting is because it's really important that, you know, some people, I personally do as well, we go all the way to full to fight a fish on once we've got the rod out of the holder and we're harnessed up and we're comfortable, we go straight to full, uh, which is 50% of the line class. Now, it's really important to check the reel you've got does that. Okay, here we've gone all the way from five to close to seven and a half, which is absolutely perfect. It's 50% of the line class. So that's absolutely perfect. I'm confident now that this reel can be fished all the way to full if I want it to. But on some reels, if they haven't got a TDC type cam like this Akuma does, your sunset could be way over line class. So you really do have to check it. 